What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to our at-home body weight program. We're on day five of our final week of the month. Super excited to be here with you guys today. We're going to get right into it with our warm-up, all right? Now, today we're starting with a little bit more of a dynamic warm-up. We're starting with our high knees and our butt kicks. So if you need to just start here by lifting your knee and stepping, that's perfectly okay. We've got 30 seconds on each one. Going in three, two, one. Here we go. So, again, we've got this dynamic warm-up. We have a nice challenge today during our skill part of a body weight movement. And then our workout today is another full body, little circuit style interval training. Um, awesome one for you guys today. Yep. Woo, 10 more seconds. If you're feeling good, start to bring those knees a little bit higher, a little bit lighter on the toes for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Next up, we're going right here with our butt kicks, going in three, two, one. So again, you can start nice and easy and then start to pick up your pace. Make sure that we're cueing in with our breath. We're tuning into our breath. Getting our mind ready for today's work session. Making sure that we go into it with a positive attitude, no matter how we're feeling. Being okay with where we're at today, whether we have a lot of energy or low energy, just make sure you give it your best, okay? Three, two, one, and relax. Going with our Frankenstein kicks next. Three, two, one. Should be feeling a little bit better with these every day. Hopefully, feeling like these warm-ups are serving your body well. We hope that when you guys get back on the court, when you guys get back playing, or parents, when you guys get back maybe just working out in the gym, that you utilize similar warm-up routines like the ones we've been doing. We hope that you feel they've been valuable. Nicely done. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Now, we're gonna grab our basketball for this next part. Again, any tool will work, any object, or your imagination. Either one is fine. We're starting with some single leg hinges. We're gonna grab 10 hinges on each side. Now, I'm gonna just stick with a regular hinge Christian is going to show you, though, how you can vary this by moving the basketball in different directions. So again, a single leg hinge, we have soft bend in the knee, one foot is flat here, while the other leg kicks back. And as we do this, our hip is pushing back, so we're loading up our glutes, our chest is dropping, but our spine stays nice and long, nice and stable. So again, I can hold the ball right here at my chest. I'm going to work for 10 reps on each side. Just nice and easy. And if I need to hold on to something right now, I can always hold on to something. But if you shake and you twist and you turn and you have to set that back foot down, that's okay right now. Your body's just getting used to that single leg bounce. And it's okay to challenge it. It's okay to fall. We just got to get back up. If this is easy, then again, you can be reaching this ball overhead. You can be reaching to the right. You can be reaching to the left. All the while still trying to maintain this solid position and not allowing the reaches to throw you off balance. Maybe you even take your eyes right to left, change up where you're looking, right? All of those things are gonna challenge your balance in a different way. So just figure out where you're at today. Once you get 10 on one side, we're gonna go 10 on the opposite side. Okay, so again, we've got the soft bend in our leg. Our foot stays flat the whole time. So really rooted through the ground as we drive our hips back, and loading up our glutes, proud chest, and then stand tall. And you don't really have to pause in any one of these ranges right now. We're just moving nice and easy through them. You can hear both of us. We're still breathing. We're still cueing into that breath. And again, if we fall, that means we're really kind of pushing those limits. So that's okay. We want to make sure that we're challenging ourselves and not staying in our comfort zone too often. Good work. Awesome job. <laughs> Again, we're going to get 10 reps here. Nice, you got it. Once we finish our 10, we can relax, we can shake that out. If you want to grab a couple extra, go for it. Nicely done, beautiful. Next up, we're going with some squats with our basketball, but we're going single leg. So if you need to come to two feet on the ground, you can always keep both feet on the ground. Otherwise, we'll be doing a single leg squat. 
So you'll see, again, our foot stays flat. You can see Christian's foot is totally flat, so he's not allowing the heel or the toe to come off the ground. On one of them, his foot kicks forward, and the other, his foot kicks back, okay? We're kind of just changing up where we're loading, if we're loading up our backside or the front side of our leg here. So just figure out how deep can you go for each one of those. And again, we're gonna go 10 on each leg. So five each way as far as the back foot here, going forwards or backwards, or the foot that's not on the ground, moving forwards or backwards. Once we get 10, we'll switch up sides. Now you can see, once again, we can take this basketball away from the center of our body to throw us off a little bit. We can keep both hands on the ball. We could use one hand, whatever feels like a good challenge for you today. We wanna encourage you guys to have fun with this, to really work in that zone of discomfort so we can get better. Beautiful. Nicely done. Again, you can always hold on to something for a little bit of assistance if needed. Just working on controlling your body, controlling your breath, and then controlling the basketball while you're doing something challenging. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Next up, we're going with a lateral lunge. So lateral lunge, we're sinking to one side. We want to keep our heels flat, okay? Now, again, you'll notice Christian's taking the ball overhead. You can hold the ball at your chest. You can take the ball out in front of you. If you want to warm up the shoulders a little bit and challenge your shoulder mobility, you're going to try to reach that ball overhead. We're going to go five times each way. Maybe feeling that stretch on the inside of the straight leg. If you want, you can stay low and even just shift yourself side to side in a low lateral lunge. And then anytime you need to stand on up, that's perfectly okay. Try to drive your hips forward, get that extra stretch on the front side. Awesome job. From here, we're going into our sprinter's lunge. So, we did this the other day, right? We've been challenging you guys with the single leg work, so hopefully it's feeling a little bit better. Will you demo real quick? Mm -hmm. From here, you're going to push your hips back, but allow your knee to push forward as well. So once again, the whole foot stays flat. That's really key here. We're not allowing ourselves to push all the way up onto the toes, but you'll see Christian's gonna come all the way down to where his back foot touches the ground. Now. You could try to do this without the back foot touching the ground as you go down and up, that would be an extra challenge. But at any point, this back leg that is extended, as you push yourself back and push his knee forward, that back foot can come to the floor to give you a little bit of help with that balance, help with your stability, right? We'll go five on each side? Yeah, we'll go five on each side on these. Again, we're gonna push back. We're allowing the knee to push forward. So we're really working our ankle mobility strengthening our knees. We want to get more comfortable as we push that knee forward. If it is painful, we don't want you to work in an area of pain, but slight discomfort is okay. So just see where your end range is today. Getting this ball. Maybe we're reaching it to the side as we work. Maybe we're trying to reach it overhead. Maybe we're shifting our gaze. It's all about how fancy you want to get today. Beautiful. Okay, we have five on each side of this sprinter's lunge. More. Awesome job. Go ahead and finish that out. Good work, good work. And then we're going to go with an overhead squat with the ball. Okay? So now this time we do have our feet just right underneath our hips or our shoulders here. We're going to press the ball overhead and then stand tall. I really feel my upper back working in this one. Try to keep that belly tight. Try to keep your eyes up so that you don't just allow your chest to drop forward. But we're really going to challenge our mobility here and our strength through these ranges by pressing the ball overhead. Beautiful, we're gonna go for 10 reps here with this squat with an overhead press. Really press that ball up towards the sky, press that ball up towards the ceiling, extend those arms overhead. Make sure that you're breathing, your body might wanna hold on to that breath. You might be holding your breath, and we don't wanna do that, we wanna just inhale and exhale where we feel comfortable. Allow that breath to give us a little more space. Awesome. Good work, good work. Let's finish up our last couple reps. And hopefully that whole body is feeling a little more warm, a little more loose, ready to jump into our skill of the day. Mm -hmm. That's right, guys. So right now, I was working with you guys the whole time. My hips are on. I feel like things are definitely working around here. And we're going to challenge that a little bit more. Again, guys, whether you're an athlete, right, or whether you're a parent or coach joining us, a lot of times in the game of basketball, our ankles and our knees are the culprits of a lot of aches and pains. 
So mm -hmm. what we need to do to counteract that is make sure that our hips and our glutes are working before we start our workout, especially because today we got jumps in our workout, okay? So <clears throat> we're gonna start here on the ground and we're gonna do 10 reps of this movement on each leg, okay? Try this out with us. So neck pushing her hips back towards her heels. Now, from there, what she's gonna do, she's gonna drive her hips up into a downward dog. So guys, when you get here, make sure you have a little bit of a bend in your knee, and right where your hamstrings and your glutes meet, that's the spot you wanna lift up. So don't just lift up through your back, lift up through the junction of your hamstrings and your glutes, okay? Now, now from here is gonna bring one leg up towards the ceiling, and then she's gonna bend her knee, and then she's gonna rotate her knee to try to look up towards the ceiling. From there, she'll come all the way back down with her foot, and then she's gonna switch up sides, okay? Guys, we have a total of 10 of these reps on each side. Take your time, okay? Lift up, bend the knee, rotate that knee to look up, and then you can switch up sides. Now guys, as you're going through this, just listen to me. Continue to move, but just listen. If you've never done this before, you're gonna feel very tight. It's gonna feel very uncomfortable. You're gonna feel like there's a lot of tension and a lot of tightness throughout your own body. That's perfectly fine. That is normal when we expose our body to some new movements. But I promise you, with all of our MBA clients, with all the professional clients that we have worked with, this is one of the main movements we do to make sure that our hips are flexible and mobile, and more importantly, that our strength is getting put into the hips. Again, continue to breathe and move. That was 10 on each side for- oh, so no, 10 total? 10 total, perfect. Take a breath? Yeah, perfect. So now you're right there, needs to take a break, right? We spend a lot of time in that inverted downward dog position. Very valuable for us. Now we're gonna do that again. Again, guys, she did five on each side. Now we're gonna finish it up and get five more on each side. So a total of 10 on each leg. Again, take your time right here too. If you're moving a little bit slower than what we're moving at, we love that. Moving slow means you give your body more time to turn on its muscles. So if we move on and you're still going, pause the video, get your 10 reps in, and then you can jump in and finish up the workout. Don't worry guys, the workout's gonna be here. We're never gonna mess around and miss that, okay? Again, just taking the time to prep our body, but also try to deepen our movement library. Great job, Natalie. You can hear her breathing. She's pushing the ground away. Never is her chest rolling forward because she's constantly pressing that ground away. Whew, a little bit of shoulder burn, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll awesome. Roll up the neck a little bit. Yeah, roll up the neck as much as you need. Great job, everybody. And again, if you haven't finished up yet, pause the video and then jump back in with us for the workout, okay? Now, the workout today, we got three rounds of four movements back to back to back to back, okay? Now, each movement's gonna go for 35 seconds, and then we're gonna take a 10 second rest in between our movements. Probably take a little bit longer rest in between our rounds in case we need some water, okay? Now, first thing that we had, and we're all gonna jump in this and do this together, okay? Let's try a couple reps, then we'll put our timer on, is our tuck jumps, right? So Nat, can you just show them what maybe a normal jump would look like, almost like a level one without any tuck? what we can be doing here. Beautiful. She's using her hands and her hips to load her up and she's jumping one after the next. Perfect, that's awesome. That's our level one, okay, our squat jump. Now a tuck jump is gonna be now where we load and then when we come up and jump, our knees come to our elbows. So we don't really wanna bring our elbows down because then we might round our spine, right? So let's just think about after we jump that we bring our knees up towards our elbows. Let's try out maybe a couple reps, okay? I'm back, knees coming up, knees coming up, okay? Now we don't wanna tire ourselves out yet. Let's put the timer on. Let's start round one right here, okay, everybody? Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. So guys, take as long as you need in terms of rest between reps. If you need to rest a couple times, because these jumps are pretty intense, but we know we got a lot of athletes out there that do a lot of jumping. So if you're feeling comfortable, then continue to move, continue to breathe. 10 seconds. Almost there, guys. Five, four, three, two, 
one awesome work everybody now we'll go actually we'll go onto the ground now we're gonna have our elbow pull plank and then we're gonna pick up our opposite hand and foot so on our elbows here we're gonna go ahead and pull ourselves forward back and then after I get there opposite hand opposite foot opposite hand opposite foot pull push hand foot hand foot now can we do this from our knees a hundred percent this is challenging go from your knees sound good everybody let's go here three two one and here we go pull push hand foot hand foot pull push hand foot hand foot pull push keep the chest keep your hips facing the ground the whole time whether you're pulling pushing or lifting your hands try to really keep everything square keep looking at the ground as you push back and forth 10 seconds five four three two one awesome work everybody next thing we have is a reverse lunge twist open the back foot so now this foot is flat I twist it back down I stand up tall reverse lunge twist reverse lunge stand up tall 35 seconds y'all three two one here we go chest can stay forward or we can allow our chest to open up with our back leg totally dependent upon how your body feels okay guys listen to your body as you step back don't step back too far if you step back too far you're not going to be able to twist that back leg open okay here we go guys keep breathing nice great job natalie great job back at home y'all we're doing great right now less than 10 seconds here we go stay low and loaded five one of my favorites four oh yeah three two one now guys the last thing we have we've all done it before hands to elbows okay so elbow plank to hand plank elbow hand and all we got to focus on is not allowing our hips and our chest to turn you can always do it from your knees as well okay everybody three two one hands on the bows hands on the bows keep on breathing y'all keep on moving nice and still remember as you go up and down try not to twist your body if you need to put your feet wider put your feet wider that's going to help you stabilize a little bit more keep breathing keep moving almost there everybody keep right up come on nice job. Oh, almost there three two one guys ladies stand on up that was round one we got two more rounds just like that okay about 10 more seconds of rest if you need more rest pause the video we got tuck jumps coming up next okay if you need to be careful with noise and the tuck jumps just go with the squat onto your toes yep. okay i just yep. want to preface that <laughs> five four three two one and here we go tuck jumps or you could go just work on that super soft quiet landing Almost there, guys. Continue to breathe. Continue to move. I'm getting a little fatigued. So I'm going to go into my toes. Last five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. Everybody on the ground. Here we go. Elbow planks, forward, back. Pick up your opposite hand and foot. Five, four, three, two, pull, push, lift, lift, pull. Push, lift, lift. Here we go, guys. Pull, push, lift, lift. Here we go. Pull, push, lift, lift. Okay, almost there, guys. Pull, push, lift, lift. Almost there. Pull, push, lift, lift. Almost there. Pull, push, lift, lift. Last one. Pull, push, lift, 
lift. Great job, everybody. Great job, Natalie. Next movement, reverse lunge with our twist, okay? Last five, four, three, two. Reverse, twist, reverse, stand tall. Reverse, twist, reverse, stand tall. Take your time pivoting on your back foot. That pivot is gonna serve your feet well. If you have a lot of ankle tightness, a lot of tightness in between your toes, in between your feet, take your time on that pivot. Allow your body to become more comfortable through that flexibility. Almost there, guys, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, onto the ground. Okay, we have a high plank to low plank, okay? Elbows to hands, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Remember, the slower and the more controlled, the better for us. Nice job, good work you guys, stay with it. Stay in control of your breath, stay in control of your body, we got this. Nice job. Almost there guys. Here we go, 15 seconds left, here we go. Almost there, last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Great job everybody, take about 20 seconds. Man, my floor is getting sweaty. Great job y'all, great job everyone back at home. Take about another 10 more seconds to rest. We got all this one more time. Okay, mm -hmm. one more round with our squat jumps, okay? In five, round three, four, three, two, one, and here we go. We gotta make sure that we zone in with our breath. Come on. 
almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. Oh my goodness. That one got me today. Yeah, that one got me. I know it got Nat. Hopefully you guys are feeling good. Hopefully you feel like you got some good work in today. Natalie's gonna go ahead and take you through our decompression to finish out day five for week four. Thank awesome. You. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna throw a new move at you here for our decompression today. We're gonna go wide with our feet. We're gonna point our pinky toes straight ahead, soften in the knees, okay? What we're gonna do is push our hips to the side as one hand drops down towards the ground. So we're gonna get this nice lateral stretch. We're gonna alternate side to side. So again, we have this wide stance, soften in the knees, Let's take our right hand to our chest as we push our hips to the right. The left fingertips are just gonna come to the inside of the left leg. If you can't make your way all the way down to the ground, don't worry if those fingers can tap the ground. Cool, we just wanna keep that spine long. We'll come up, we'll switch up sides. Get pushing our hips to the side, keeping that generous bend in the knees. And again, just coming back to the center each time alternating right to left, maybe pausing at our end rate, sending our breath right here to our ribs, down towards our hips. We'll stand back up, opposite way, again, drive those hips to the side, keep your spine long, send that breath down in between the ribs and the hips, down to your belly. We'll do this one more time each way. Again, push, maybe look up towards the sky or the ceiling, Take that inhale, exhale. Last time. Push those hips away, stack your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Awesome job. Now, let's stay standing for our stand standing spinal roll. What we wanna do here is drive down through our fingertips, lift your chin up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale. On the exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Roll your shoulders forward. Bring your fingers all the way down to your toes or down towards the ground. And feel free at the bottom here to kind of walk your feet back and forth or shift your knees back and forth so you get a little bit deeper stretch through your hamstrings one side at a time. Just relax your head down. Grab opposite elbows here and nice and easy, just sway side to side as we keep that soft bend in our knees. Again, just fully relax your head. Slow down the inhale, slow down the exhale. Come back to the center, let your arms go long and then slowly just push your knees forward, push your hips forward, roll and round on up. Awesome job, you guys. Last one here is just rolling out our neck. So let's keep reaching down through our fingertips. Let's just bring our chin all the way up and around. And we go chin to chest, and let's reverse that one more time, going the opposite way. Go as slow as you can, lifting that chin up and back, and then bringing that chin all the way back to the center. Excellent job. We thank you so much again for joining us. We want to leave you with our journal prompt for today. Our journal prompt for today is, what is your best basketball memory? We hope that this one brings a smile to your face. Go ahead and share it out. Write it down, whatever you need to do. But again, share your best basketball memory. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.